Number 5 on our list is State of Decay by Undead Labs. And may I just say, for their first game, this has to be just amazing. Since I only own, or used to own, an Xbox 360, I never got to play Daisy or any of those awesome zombie games on the PC. So State of Decay brought it to console, or should I say Xbox 360, because PC, PS3 didn't get it? But may I just say, this is awesome. I love all the features that made it. And even though it's not as great of graphics, or maybe it glitches now and then, I have put in almost like 100 hours into this game. And I just love this game, and no doubt it's going to be my, one of my favorite games of 2013 and it is even fifth and that is against some games on this on the on eh, on my top 10 list but you know i only have time to make a top five but seriously guys check this game out if you haven't bought it already if you have a pc or a xbox 360 as you will not regret it Number four is not Call of Duty Ghost because that's a piece of shit game. You should not buy it. But it is Battlefield 4. And a lot of people might not agree with me with this because of the Rocky launch. But seriously, I love the Battlefield series. Like, it is amazing. When DICE works all this out, it would probably be, like, number... F no, four. It is four. Number two on the list just because it's... I love the game. But, of course, there are issues with it right now. We had a Rocky launch and there are still issues right now. Like, right now, we're supposed to have a double XP weekend, but... You know, it got hacked, but still, I love it. I love it on my next-gen console. I have my PS4. I'm playing it on that. When HTCCP gets lifted and I got my new Avery Media, I will make videos for the crap out of that thing because I seriously love Battlefield 4. It is so good, but sometimes it makes me want to throw my PS4 out the door and buy an Xbox One and play Call of Duty Ghosts, and I don't want to do that. But seriously, buy this game when it gets fixed and buy premium if you're going to play in the long run because it is seriously worth it, and I love Battlefield. That's really it. On to the next game. Number three on our list is the Stanley Parable. And oh my goodness, this game is awesome. You seriously need to get on Steam right now and purchase it for yourself. I can't talk like anything about it or else that's spoiling it. All I can say, it's a game about choices. And it's not a game about choices. And it's it makes you think. It is There are so many possibilities. I love playing this game. You can play it over and over again. There's so many endings. I can't, you can't even describe. Let's just say that this game, you just need to experience for yourself. That you need to buy it right now and just play through it and have fun. Now, pick it up right now. And let's move on to number two. Number two on our list is a little different than what I did with the other ones because I have two games in number two because I seriously can't pick over them. One is The Last of Us and the other is Bioshock Infinite. And may I just say that these games are both beautifully crafted story-wise, gameplay-wise, and etc. And I just couldn't pick which one to you know, make it better, because I feel like they're equal, as I'm a huge Bioshock fan, but seriously, Naughty Dog knocked it out of the park by surprising me with this, and this seriously made me want my PlayStation 3 again. And, well, for Bioshock Infinite, just the ending, um, its presentation is brilliant, and I love it. Seriously, I've been a fan of Bioshock since Bioshock 1, and not a fan of Bioshock 2, but seriously, this puts a staple on the Bioshock series, even though I'm not making any more, apparently. And I just can't wait for the story DLC. Also, I did play episode 1, Burial C, and I just can't wait. They are seriously taking games, story-wise, to a whole new level. Now, let's see what the game of the year is. Number one on our list is Grand Theft Auto V. And did you really think this was a surprise? Grand Theft Auto V is probably one of the most detailed worlds slash storyline slash gameplay. Okay, 
is amazing. If I didn't put it as number one, I'd probably get like riots coming after me because seriously, it is the best game of the year. And if you say not, then you are lying to yourself because if I didn't even know what Grand Theft Auto was or I wasn't even a fan of it, I'd be like, yep, that's probably going to be a good game anyways, even though I'm not going to buy it, but I did buy it. And guess what? GTA Online fits it perfectly. The GTA Story Mode will seriously attach to anybody because of the three characters trevor is probably one of the best video game characters ever made now and rockstar you know they always get game of the year it's let's see grand theft auto 4 got game of the year and all through that gta 3 revolutionized the open world game and now gta 5 is doing the same thing now I, what i really hope about gta 5 is it comes to the next gen consoles or pc as they are really limiting the market right now as you know some people probably sold their 360 or their ps3 to buy the next gen consoles but you know it's still a great game i say that keep your current gen console just for this game because when heist come out for gta online you will have endless amounts of fun and story mode is just beautifully crafted story is amazing and gameplay is way better than gta 4 or any other grand theft auto game out there and seriously if you have not picked up grand theft auto 5 what is wrong with you it is seriously amazing well that's my list guys i hope you don't hate it as much as you know a lot of people probably will because you know i probably didn't put ac4 or something like that but seriously it's my personal list if you don't like it get out you know i really don't care dislike whatever it's just a number but you know i hope you liked this video guys and i'm out peace